Okay, everybody, I do like the tea buckets. And I came over here thinking that Birch has a tea bucket, but it's not a tea bucket, it's a touring. 1915 touring, everybody, right here behind me. Absolutely stark. Birch, what are you doing here? You go opening it up? I'll let you know. Stark. Look at that. Okay, this is amazing. How did you come across this and when? Oh, we bought it about eight years ago. I bought it out of California. It looked fairly nice, but it was mechanically not so good. Okay. And uh, I put period correct buffalo wire wheels on it and got rid of the wood wheels because, you know, they don't run true. So in 1915, this vehicle here came with wood wheels. when the roads are much more smoother now than they would have been back yeah, then. Yeah, well, you know, you were lucky you'd go 20 miles an hour when this was made. Wow. It was dirt roads. Dirt roads, of you course. Know these right here. Yep. These you put lamp oil in originally, and you could see you adjust oh the wick. Oh, my Lord. And you light them with a match. The tail light's the same way. There was no brake light. Wow. You know, it, it's a very primitive car. Wow, it's very impressive. You know, the oldest car that I have seen, everybody, has been the 1922 tea bucket, and I was absolutely amazed at that. But this is a 1915. This takes me back even more further back in history. World War and I. And I love that. World, World War, War I. What's going on? World War I. Wow. My goodness. Ford Touring. I mean, you got to give it to Ford, right? Yeah, and you know, the body is wood with sheet metal nailed to it. Look at that. See the nails right here? Wow. The sheet metal is nailed to the hickory frame. Good, yep. The whole body's that metal. Wow, And of sir. course, the firewall's wood. And that's still wood? Yeah. Wow. This is oh, brilliant. Here's the ultimate accessory since you do a movie. I'll put it on here. What is this? Cooker and bake. <laughs> yes. The so exhaust manifold. You can put food in it. See what time it is. Drive for 20 minutes and stop. Take the lid off. Turn it over. Put the lid back on. Drive another 20 minutes. I might have to give you a new recipe. <laughs> and then, uh, Hi there, ma'am. What's your wife? name? I'm Elaine. I'm his Elaine, nice to meet you. This is amazing, a 1915 Touring. This is absolutely amazing. And, uh, you know, you, you, you cook food in it. And he stopped and had a hot lunch. <laughs> oh my God, I'm absolutely speechless. I love the fact that these leaves used to be lanterns. Yeah, now I've got... Lights, of course, uh, to make it safer. Should I put this GPS somewhere in the trunk or whatever? Yeah. Okay, let's walk over to this other side because you've got more stuff on the driver's side of the interior. What I did, you know, because you do hand signals like this. Yeah. Everybody waves to you. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm turning, you know, you don't know what that means. So I did this. Wow, you've actually got a turn signal. You've brought it, you've modernized it, so it's safe for you to yeah, drive it. But it's still the original day. stuff. But, I but look a, at that. I put an LED. So that is absolutely brilliant. You've kept the original look. You've kept it being this classic, beautiful, absolute antique. Yet you've modernized it so it's safe. And see, I even brought the wires in yeah. through the carriage bolt that yeah. holds this to that bracket. I drilled a hole through the bolt and brought the wires in rather than ruin the lamp by drilling a hole wow. in it. Brilliant. And you've painted this. Because this is an old tire and I put new ones on it. And it was yellow. I mean, bright oh, yellow. Yeah. So I just the hell with it. It's a spare. You did well because it looks great. It's painted. Now I'm loving the inside here. Wow. <coughs> it's the horn. Do you mind if I go and sit on the other side? Because I mean, this would be an absolute treat for me because I've never sat inside one of these. All right, everybody. I'm gonna go inside and sit inside the 1915 Touring. I mean, I absolutely am in love with the olden day cars. So, okay, so I just 
move this to this and I opened it up like that. Yep. Look at this here, how neat is this? Well, now that's added. That's added. Good for her. Okay, let's get inside here. Now, I put these cushions in here okay. because there's buttons and it eats a hole in your backside. Right. It's wow. very uncomfortable. So originally, it's like that. It's like that. Right. I mean, it's there. It's just that I put cushions over it. Why in, not? In 10 miles or so, you'll think somebody was sticking your butt with a screwdriver. <laughs> now, so in 1915, they really had the luxury and comfort down pat when it comes to driving. Never. No, this. because look how nice that looks. Yes, but it looks just looks this nice. Was the cheapest automobile you could buy? Really? Ford Model Ts were four hundred and sixty dollars, which is a lot of money. New. Yeah, but a Buick was a couple of thousand dollars uh -huh. at the same time. Uh huh. That's why they ended up making 16 million of these cars. Did they? Yeah. The only car that they made more of was the VW Beetle, and that was that record wasn't beat until the VW Beetle. The end of the VW Beetle. Wow. If you notice the windshield wiper, it's manual. You have to do this with it. You've actually had to do that. Yeah, I got to stop on it. So of it won't course. Flop down, but wow. The controls, Rich. How do the controls okay. work? Okay. This is the throttle. This is the gas right here. That's the gas. It's not on the floor. It's in your hand right there. So what's on the floor? Well, you have three pedals. Right. When it's running, and the emergency brake right here is in the halfway position. Okay. If you step on that pedal, it tightens the band on low gear and it starts moving. Okay. But if you let your foot off, it'll jump back to the neutral position. If you step on this pedal in the middle, yep. it backs up. That's reverse. That's reverse? Yeah. That pedal's the brake. Right. But now, when you want to go down the road at speed, you smash this pedal down and get moving. Right. And you turn the emergency brake all the way off. Right. And then when you bring your foot up, it's spring loaded and it jumps in the second gear. Right. And you're done. Wow. There's no more gears. That's wow. it. It's dry. That that is absolutely. But this good. lever here, this lever right here, this is your timing. It's manual. Timing? What do you mean timing? To advance the timing so the engine will produce power. Wow. But you have to start the engine, you have to have the spark retarded. Wow. If you don't do that, and you use the hand crank, it'll break your arm. <laughs> now, Virch, my question to you is, how did somebody keep this so stopped for such a long time? Where was it kept? Because it's absolutely well, there's a great lot, condition. There's, there's a lot. There's a Model D club in the United States. Yeah. And there's a lot of members, and 90% of them are more or less stock. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. But, you know, as I said, you have to retard the spark and open the throttle a little bit, turn the key on. To the and you turn the key on after you do this? Yeah, and turn the key on, and then there's no get electric started. It's hand crank only. You have to get up front and turn it. Like a lawnmower? No, like an <laughs> antique car, like a antique. <laughs> this is really brilliant. This one's 1915. This is the first year of electric headlights on a Ford. Wow. Prior to this, they had acetylene headlights. And how did they work? Well, you put calcium carbonate in this carbide generator, and you fill the tank with water, and you open the valve just a little so it would drip the water onto the calcium carbide. Acetylene boiled off and came through a hose 
to your oh, headlights wow. and you lit them with a match <laughs> just like the miners had on their helmets wow that's what it had for headlights prior to 1950. wow let me see. i want to see the back of you what is this chest you have here toolbox toolbox you never go anywhere without a toolbox <laughs> it's a model thing You've had to use this a few times, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you always, I mean, you know, they're cantankerous cars. They're going to need it. Look at this right here. That is a 19 commemorative medallion for the sinking of Lusitania in wow. 1915 in World War I. Wow, sir. Now, Vetch, were you looking for this? Why such fascination well, with the T model? Get out of the sun. I don't, I, I don't want to go near the music. Let's go to the other side. Okay. Come around to the other side. I don't want to have to cut anything out from the interview. Oh, you all right? You okay? I'm 71. I stumble. Oh, you're doing great, sir. Okay. So why the fascination with this well, for you? A buddy of mine. I'm in the antique BMW motorcycles, actually. Okay. I have about 22 of them, and I used to have a parts business yep. that I sold recently, but a buddy of mine in Madison, Mississippi, bought an antique BMW, yep. and I went down to help him out and show him some things, yep. and he said to me, say, do you ever drive a Model T? <laughs> and I went, no, <laughs> would you like to try? Well, well, sure. Yeah, why not? And he got his 1911 out. Oh, wow. Started it. And you put less than about the pedals. Yep. And we go around the block, starting and stop. Yep. And he said to me, wow, you're doing really good. You didn't stall at once. Yeah. She said, we ought to buy one of these. Yeah. That's how. That's how it happened. Yeah. There you go, sir. So there like you go. A little bit of humor for you. Yep. Support senior polygamy. This Model T has too much brass for one old woman to polish. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely brilliant. 1915. You probably wonder why are the tires all white? Nobody else tires are white. Why That's are these true. Completely white. So they weren't white originally. They yes, were. They were. Okay. Why were they white? Because they were made from the sap of the rubber tree. Oh. And real rubber, when processed, is that color. There you go. But in the mid-1920s, a guy by the name of Firestone, <laughs> his chemical engineers figured out that if you put carbon in the mixture, it would turn them black and make them last four times longer. Oh. These go bald in 4,000 miles. Oh. They don't last at all. They wear out real fast. Oh, wow. There you go. That's not paint to anything. That's real rubber that is actually white. Yeah, white rubber. I love it. And that's why I put white tires on it. Yeah, well, you did very well with painting the spare tire white. I mean, that was brilliant. Well, now, the spare was, was white, but it had turned yellow with age. Here's another thing to think about. A hundred years before this car was made, what went up and down the roads? What went up and down the roads for a hundred years before these cars were made? Horse and carriage. All right. And what do horses have on their feet? Hooves, like, no, the horseshoes. And what are horseshoes held on to? Nails. M nails, nails. Millions. The roads were millions of nails from a hundred years. Right. In the dirt roads. So it wasn't uncommon to go 10 or 12 miles. Without getting a nail in the wheel. Yeah, wow. Flat. Okay. And then you had to pull the tube out and yeah. it, put it back, blow it up. Blow it up. And that's why you've got your toolbox. <laughs> and a tire. <laughs> and a tire. I love it. I absolutely love this. You know what? This has been brilliant. So my first 1915 touring right here with Veg. I mean. Oh, yeah. Yep. And, and these cars do not have a water pump. They don't have a water pump. Hot water rises out of that engine in the tank. Okay. And the air blown through it cools it and it falls real slow Just and returns to the engine. The water pump. How fascinating is and that? It's, and it's not pressurized. 
this right here yep. is a thermometer with red alcohol. Right. So when you're driving down the road, you can look at the thermometer and see how hot it is. And that'll happen only when the engine is on, of course. Yeah. Yeah. But you gotta watch it because if it gets too hot, yes, because it's not pressurized, it'll boil water and spit it out. Wow. And then it'll really overheat. So wow. you have to be careful and watch the water. Tables. Wow. Horseless Carriage Club of America. Yeah, because this is basically a a carriage, yeah, yeah. I mean, I absolutely love it. I mean, I'm I'm, oh, I'm yeah. a big old soul, so especially with the carriages. If I could take myself back in time, that's this. exactly what I would do. Look at this. See this here? The two gears. Yeah. And the cable that drives the speedometer on the front wheel. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But I thank you for that. Oh, 